As you've probably noticed, things have gotten really out of control in Alabama, Missouri, Texas, Florida, and Tennessee. Just last week, neo-Nazis marched down the streets of Nashville in broad daylight, carrying flags with swastikas. While those modern-day Hitler fans were marching in the streets, Tennessee House Republicans were passing laws that banned different flags. On Monday, they approved a bill that would ban ideological flags in schools, including pride flags and Black Lives Matter flags. It will not surprise you that the bill does not, I repeat, does not explicitly prohibit the display of the Nazi or the Confederate flag in schools, because there's nothing wrong with those. Republicans have also advanced a bill that would make street protests a felony. Democrats pointed out that such a law would have prevented John Lewis and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. from marching across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee has also signed a law that allows public officials to refuse to perform same-sex marriages if it goes against their beliefs. While Republicans are clearly targeting same-sex couples, the law opens the door to people refusing to marry people for a whole host of reasons, including race, religion, and national origin. Joining me now is Tennessee State Representative Justin Jones. Representative Jones, what in the hell is going on in your state? Well, Joy, um, the former Confederacy continues to be a birthplace of bad ideas. <laughs> Clearly. And, <laughs> and the terrifying thing is, is that this is where they're testing out these ideas before they nationalize them. But these ideas are being waged, you know, the battles are being waged on the front lines of our state houses, but they're going to be nationalized if we don't stop them at their root, which is in states like Tennessee and Alabama and Texas and Mississippi. Yeah. These are the front lines where we have to fight for democracy. I, I saw your, your uh, I reposted, actually, your Instagram, because you were actually there when the Nazis were marching through uh, Nashville how is it that they're now pushing through a law that would ban marches for Black Lives Matter but not Nazi marches? I mean, they're showing us who they are. You know, just yesterday, um, as I tried to tell them that their policies attacking immigrants, attacking the LGBTQ community, banning black history, are inviting these neo-Nazis to come, um, I was silenced by the Speaker of the House and stopped from speaking. Um, and when we try and raise these concerns that we are welcoming hate at the same time, we are banning pride flags from our schools. Yeah. I mean, it, it is creating this 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 morally insane environment where you, you're not even engaging. You know, there's the saying, speak truth to power. We're speaking truth to insanity. At least yeah. we're trying to when we're not silent. I think we have a picture of you with your hand raised. I mean, this was, and you said it was two hours. We were talking in the break. It was like two hours, two hours. of you not being recognized, not being allowed to speak, silence to get on the floor. They're now pushing through a law that if you are expelled, which you were, and uh, Justin Pearson, and of course, Miss Gloria were also expelled, you couldn't actually run again. That's their new plan. Do you think they're planning to expel y'all again? I mean, and that bill passed the House last night without even, I wasn't even allowed to speak on that bill. And, <laughs> and this is just showing us that they are so intent on silencing voices of dissent because they're trying to show us that this is not a multiracial democracy anymore. And so there are threats that we may be expelled, but we're not afraid of that because what they're trying to do is intimidate us. These are tactics of intimidation. These are tactics of trying to rewage their lost fight last year when they expelled us and we walked back right. three days later. This is what they're trying to stop, but they cannot stop the momentum, the movement, the light that is shining in Tennessee and across the South. There was even a, an attack on a Grammy winner. So there is a, a there was a proclamation that was supposed to honor Alison Russell, who as a black country music artist, but allowing a similar measure to pass for a group called Paramore, who are white. That seems so obvious that you would think they wouldn't try it, but they did. They did. I mean, they went after a black queer um, immigrant woman who has spoken about a more inclusive state and who, who had a song that she won a Grammy for called Eve is Black, and they didn't like the title. Because they didn't like the title? They didn't like the title of the song because, oh, um, again, trying to erase people's identity, trying to erase reality and erase history. Let's talk about these last two things, because the one about pride flags, flags being banned, what would that mean? So you couldn't have a pride flag in your class. Would that actually mean you'd be fired? You can be arrested. Fired. It's, I mean, you can be fired. You, you can be sued. I mean, this is just the, the madness that we're dealing with is that they were questioned. They had an, actually an amendment to make so you can keep Confederate flags in classrooms because they're considered, quote unquote, battle flags. But pride flags, which say you are welcome here, which are about inclusivity, they feel are a threat to their dominant narrative of white Christian nationalism. That's really what this was about last night. And rather than address this and answer questions, the sponsor and the speaker were cowards and chose to shut down debate and not let us even talk about this and ask the questions that our constituents sent us down there to ask. Is there any sign that voters in Tennessee are going to start punishing Republicans for this? Because we could just do all, we could do 10 more of these. You know, I, I was telling you, I watched the Tennessee Holler I, on social media. They do 10 of these a day. Is there any sign that voters have had enough and are going to start voting these people out? I mean, we're seeing 
a, a movement that is rising up that is multiracial. We're seeing people in rural counties saying we're tired of this because they're getting ready to vote on vouchers, which are going to destroy these rural school, public right. school districts. And so we, we already have more rural hospitals closed per capita than any other state. And so either they're going to wake up or they're going to find themselves in, in a place where, you know, that, that they can't get out of. And so what is happening is that we, we need to continue to, to shine light to show that they're hurting their own people when they're attacking public education, when they're keeping people in poverty jobs, when they're denying them health care. This is your rural district. And so we need people to say, that to put that reality over these tactics of division of, of white supremacy, because that's their strategy, is, is to divide us and make us not talk about how we are fighting the same system that is a small group of extremists who are controlling our state. The, the last bill I want to talk about is this marriage bill, because it, it does appear that it will allow public officials to refuse to marry people based on LGBTQ. But is there anything that would block somebody who there was a famous Tennessee pastor who 10 years ago said he wouldn't marry people that were interracial couples? Could that also be somebody could say, I'm not going to marry an interracial couple? I mean, this is what this is opening the door for. And this is what they want to open the door for. They're taking us back in time. Literally, Joy, every day we're in that building, um, you got to set your clock back 50 years because that's what's <laughs> happening. And so this is terrible, but really what it should be clarifying for us yeah. that we have to take these people seriously. We have to fight them. This is not a time to try and make friends with these folks, these extremists yeah. in our legislature. Like I tell them, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make change for my district. And what that means being silenced or being expelled, whatever it means, we're going to fight for their people too, for their constituents too. And I hope that the people of Tennessee, the Republicans particularly, wake up and said that these folks are not serving their interests because what is happening is that they are using them as pawns and getting them to come out and say, um, this is about beating up on a few young black men, but really this right. is about beating up on our system of democracy that is silencing them and serving corporate interests. That's, that's what's, what's And allowing about. the gun lobby to just run rampant because anything to do with guns, that will pass. Anything that will, that pass. Do, will, that will make it easier. That's the only bill we passed after the shooting, the mass shooting in Nashville, was a bill protecting firearms manufacturers from being sued. The only gun bill we've passed in Tennessee since that mass shooting that, took, that got national attention last year. The last time you were here, you were moving to have the speaker sanctioned mm. um, for his actions uh, as speaker and his attacks on yourself, uh, Justin Pearson and Gloria Johnson. Any movement on that? So we have filed our motions. They filed a response. We filed a, a response motion to that. My attorneys are now we're waiting for the judges to, to respond. But Speaker Sexton continues to act unconstitutionally. He continues to be the George Wallace of the 21st century, the Bull Connor of the 21st century. And they're trying to ban history because when history looks down on where he stood in this time, yeah. his children will be ashamed and that he's he's shaming the South. But we represent a new South and we're unafraid. Um, you definitely are unafraid. That is for sure. Uh, Tennessee State Representative Justin Jones, glad you were in D.C. and able to come on set and talk with us. Good luck and Godspeed. We'll be right back.